Welcome to the Built for This podcast. This podcast is a podcast for you, entrepreneurs, people that are going through the grips of hell and can't find a solution on how to get through it. I'm your host, Patrick King, a.k.a. the Soil King known as, but Patrick King is coming at you with the real deal from here on out. This is episode two, and we're going to be talking a little bit about me. Yeah. The concept of built for this podcast is my life. Like I, you guys have known me. I've done uh, Soil King Legends of Legacy. I've done all these things. Soil King Legends of Legacy was coming out, and I had to change it. Right, I really had to talk in the depths of what my life is. Like, how can I? I was looking for podcasts. I was going through YouTube. I was going. I was asking people around me. You know how? Where's the? Where's the brick road? Where's the yellow brick road? Where's the path? Where's the solution? Who can I ask? How do I get? through these hard times in life business collapsing right you guys have known me in the last few years we went through covid it was very difficult uh being soil kings building soils everything that we had to do um cannabis companies right i i own my i own my california cannabis companies in california there's no money in that i still own them i was uh one of the first if not the first micro license given in the state of california 2018 i still have that i'm still an owner of that license which is very difficult but all these things in 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 work in business are very difficult in 2020 2022, at the end of 2021, my life started imploding. There was a lot of business implosion that happened with me trying to figure out how do you get through stuff? Really? Looking up YouTube, calling attorneys. What are attorneys? Attorneys will give you a solution. Each attorney is going to give you a different solution, and they're going to want money up front. I mean, that's not an, a path forward to figure out how to get out. So I was on YouTube. I was looking up bankruptcies. I was, how do you get through business solutions? How do you stay mentally in control when the world is collapsing on you? I didn't have solutions out there. I couldn't find them. And, and this brought me back to uh, 2008. I'm a builder developer and housing uh, downturn happened. I was right in the middle of building a subdivision. Um, you know, and and again, that was a, an area in my life where it was there was no solutions. Who do you ask? You can't ask your family because all you get from family and your close friends is I told you so. You know, where do you find your support from? You look around you. You know, I love my family, but I'm not going to ask my family, you know, how do I get through this? Because they're not going to be, they're they're not going to want me to get through it. They're going to say, "I told you so." You should go do a different journey, go a different direction, you know. And uh, Soil King Empire was built. It was uh, it was. I've, I'm 55 now. I I retired at 52. I figured I had made it. And um, sure enough, that wasn't the fact. That wasn't what God's plan was for me at all. And everything changed in my life. Oh, it was like I built this 747. This is what I'm a visual individual. So I built this. I, I, I feel like I built the 747. You know, everybody loved it. It was shiny. You know, it was great. You know, people were making money on me. We were making money together. I had an army of people that I was dragging along with me, friends and family and uh, uh, people in my life. And everybody was prospering back then. And then the shit hit the fan. Right? And that 747's up in the sky, and next thing you know, I turn around, and everybody, all my team, they're jumping out, putting parachutes on their back, and they're saying, yeah, hope you make it down, you know, and all the I told you so, you shouldn't have done that, you know, he'll never make it, he's a failure, and all that stuff starts coming at you, and you're feeling that pain, man, that agony, that defeat, and all of a sudden, I, I'm out of gas, and that 747 lands on the runway, Boom, it hits. I'm isolated. I'm by myself in this big plane that everybody was with me. I'm, I'm alone now. Plane's out of gas. You know, I'm out there trying to fill it up, and I can't believe I even landed it. And all those people that went not answer the phone or didn't believe that I would be successful enough to keep it afloat, turning around and looking, and they're like, hey, well, yeah, I knew you could do it, you know, and... It was the biggest lesson in my life. Biggest lesson in my life is this. It's the difference between reciprocal relationships and acquaintances. Acquaintances are these people I love. A lot of them, their kids called me uncle. I, they were there, you know, that we built something good together, but it didn't reciprocate when I needed something. It was great why we were all making money and the Soil King brand was exploding, but reciprocating it, you know, they all imploded kind of on me. Doesn't mean I have to hate them. I don't. I love them. 
I just have to categorize them a little bit different from reciprocal relationships to acquaintances now. Acquaintances, I love those people. I want to see them, right? I want to see them success. I want to be invited to, you know, their kid's graduation. I love them. But my full energy is going to go into those that reciprocate it. I have a son, PJ, right? He has, he, he, he was shotgun riding through this with me this whole time. Amy, my, my, my queen, right there by my side through this, right? There's a very few people that were there that believe that I can really, I could still pull this off. And, and uh, you know, and then I have mentors out there who see a different, you know, person in me. Greg Reed is one of them. So the biggest lesson on that is give your energy to those who give back to you, that reciprocate it back to you. Doesn't mean you don't have to like or love or support acquaintances, but it means when you give your attention to everybody, you're taking from the ones that deserve it the most. The meaning behind Built for This Podcast is, you know, when I went through the, the, you know, the grips of hell in my life and I was trying to figure out a roadmap to get to a solution, I couldn't find one. Right? There's a, you know, you see all these motivationalists, you see all these big names out there, you know, these millionaires and billionaires, they've made it. They talk about how great, you know, their time is and how they're contributing back. But I couldn't find anything when I was going through it of really what, how do I get through this? You know, I mean, I had suicide thoughts. I had everything in my life I didn't want to be around anymore. I didn't think I was going to be able to get through it. I had to find something. I found something. I found God in my life. I found a few people I held on to, and I made a difference, and I kept moving forward. So Built for This Podcast is just that. It's coming up with solutions for those of you out there that are really going through the pain and the struggle, and you just want to reach a little bit further, but you don't know how. Everybody around you, your family tells you to quit. You're wrong. I told you so. But you know where your heart and your passion is and what your purpose is. Let's find solutions. Let's come together. Let's ask those people at a higher level that have been through the hell of business relationships, you know, all those experience, how did they get through it? How did they not quit? Quit. So as you go through this journey with me, I hopefully this podcast is going to help somebody out there, help more than somebody out there, give a solution or even turn around and help somebody else because they heard something on this podcast. So do me a favor, man, hit that, smash that like button, right? Share this content, comment down below, Let's talk about it. If you have a problem, send us a message or comment below. We're going to keep this clean also. It's going to be no drama in the comments. There's going to be none of that. This is going to be straight helping one another be successful in life. So until next time, remember, you're built for this.